Hi everyone, this is adding subtracting matrices with scalar multiplication. Um, basically, we have variables here, um, A, B, C, and D, and we're going to add E, F, G, and H, and basically what you're doing is adding the first uh, row with the first row here. So it's A plus C, so this will be 3 minus 1 plus a negative 1 is 2, all right, 0 plus 4, because it's B plus F, so 0 plus 4 is 4, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3, and negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1, and it's very simple. Now we can also subtract, so I'm going to go ahead and just erase here and put subtraction here. I'll just, if I put a subtraction here, then all these would just be subtractions here, and you basically do the same thing. So subtract, and we do the same th thing. 3 minus a negative 1 is 3 plus 1, so that's going to be 4. 0 minus 4 is negative 4. Negative 5 minus 2 is negative 7. And negative 1 minus 0 is negative 1. So it's pretty easy. And um, the next thing we're going to do is um, have two matrices, and we're going to add them. And we're also going to do scalar multiplication. <coughs> Basically, when you multiply, for example, if we want to do 4 first, let's go ahead and do 4 first, and then we'll do the others. Basically, we're taking B and multiplying it by 2 thirds. So you multiply each piece. So basically, 2 thirds B equals, and it's basically, I'll put it over here, 2 thirds times 18, so that's going to be 6 times 2 is 12. 2 thirds times negative 12. That's going to be 2 thirds times negative 12. Negative 4. So that's negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. 2 thirds times negative 6 is going to be negative 4. And then we have... Uh, two-thirds times zero is zero. So that one is part four. To add matrices, I'm going to think I'm going to go ahead and squeeze it in here, and then we'll do the others on the other page. We're going to do like we did on the first slide and just add these. I'm going to erase this now. So basically all we're doing is five. Let me just do it on this side. So basically when we add these, we're going to add... Um, 5, negative 4, 3, negative 1, plus 18, negative 12, and negative 6 and 0. And you just add it like we did on the first page, 5 plus 18. So this is going to be matrix A. This is matrix B. So A plus B equals 23 negative 16, negative 3, negative 1. Okay, the next one we need to do is B minus A. So I'm going to go ahead and write B first. B is 18, negative 12, negative 6, 0. And we're going to minus our A. So this is 5, 3, negative 4, negative 1, and we're going to subtract. So this is matrix B minus matrix A. So B minus A equals 18 minus 5 is 13. 12 minus a negative 4 means 12 plus 4. Negative 12 plus 4 is um, negative 8. Uh, negative 6 minus 3 is negative 9, and 0 minus a negative 1 is positive 1. Okay? If you want to write them out long, you can. For example, this last one we did, 
If you wrote that out, that would be 0 minus a negative 1 is 0 plus 1 equals 1. Okay, the next one we want to do is the last one, 4a minus b. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a down. a was 5, 3, negative 4, negative 1. This is a, and I'm going to multiply this by 4. That means I multiply each piece by 4. So that gives me 20, 12, negative 16, negative 4. So this is 4a. Now, what we want to do is 4a minus b. So 4a is this right here. And 12, negative 4 minus our b, and our b was 18, negative 12, negative 6, and 0. So we're going to subtract, and we're going to get 4a minus b. So we're going to get 2, negative 6 minus a negative 12 is negative 6 plus 12, which gives us 12, uh, 6. 12 minus a negative 6 is 12 plus 6, that gives us 18, and negative 4 minus 0 is negative 4. And that's how you do it. And, and just one note, um, basically what we're just starting you off with, this is going to get to with matrices, is writing, so if you have a matrix, if you have a system of equations like this, and I'm just making something up here. And this should have been a Y. I know you all saw that. Okay. Basically what they're going to do is you have your X column, which is 4, negative 3. So that's your X column. Your Y column is going to be 3 and 5. Your XY is going to go here. Equals your 3, negative 2, and that's where we're going to. So basically, it helps us solve equations uh, without the variables. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is multiply matrices, which is much more complicated. Your uh, teacher might let you use a calculator, but the next video is going to be without the calculator especially if you're taking an AP exam, you're going to have to know how to do this.